Aloha and welcome back to the third video in our AkuShaper introductory tutorial series. In this video, we will be designing the rocker of our surfboard using the top and bottom tabs. Surfboard rocker is important as it is the curvature of our shape that has a direct impact on the type of waves we will be riding. In our first two tutorial videos, we worked on designing the outline, rails, and bottom concaves of our example model here. It is a six foot shortboard that has a wing in the outline, single to double concave, a rolled tail and a beak nose on the deck. By the end of this tutorial video you will be able to use the tools in the top and bottom tabs to not only build a rocker profile but also introduce some new rocker design elements like a beak nose into your design. You can find a link to download the example model in the description below if you'd like to follow along as we design the rocker. So let's get started building our rocker profile by opening a new board in the outline tab. We will be using the 6 shortboard short board model again found in the file new menu. Okay now that we have our new stock model to work with let's head over to the top and bottom tabs where our rocker will be designed. The top tab is used to design the deck and our bottom tab is used to design the bottom rocker profile. As a guide to designing our rocker in this tutorial we will be placing four and a half inches of rocker in the nose and 2.6 inches of rocker in the tail. We will also be designing a 3 inch beak nose and a rolled tail on the deck. We're going to start on the bottom tab and check the current nose and tail rocker measurements. Right now we're at 4.61 inches in the nose rocker and 2.31 inches in our tail rocker. You can find your rocker measurements in the dimensions panel and along the footmarks of your design. Rocker measurements are displayed in light blue. For this example, our target measurements are to be 4.5 inches in the nose and 2.6 inches in the tail, so let's go ahead and make these changes. We can make our first adjustments to the nose rocker by selecting our bottom control point and dragging it to our desired rocker dimension of 4.5 inches. To do this, select the bottom control point in the nose and use your mouse or arrow keys to move it to our desired dimension of 4.5 inches nose rocker. As you can see, if we use this technique, it may be necessary to navigate back to the top tab and reduce the thickness we have created in the nose. This is because the bottom tab will only move the control points on the bottom rocker profile. Okay, now that we've corrected the thickness of our nose in the top tab, we can explore the second option for increasing or decreasing rocker using the end rocker and T rocker tools in the toolbar. The end rocker is used for the nose and the T rocker is used for the tail. Simply select the end rocker T rocker button and use your arrow keys to increase or decrease both the top and bottom rocker line simultaneously. In this example, we will be using the T rocker to adjust the dimensions of the rocker and the tail. Okay, great, so that covers option two for changing rocker dimensions. Our third option for increasing or decreasing rocker is to grab the center control point on the bottom tab and pull the control point up or down. This will increase our nose and tail rocker at the same time. It is important to note that using this technique will increase the thickness of the board that we will need to manually adjust later. Okay. So now that we have our rocker dimensions at the 4.5 inch mark in the nose and the 2.6 inch mark in the tail, we can make further changes to the shape of our rocker by moving the red and yellow control points that are anchored to the nose and tail control points. This will change the depth of the rocker at the inner foot marks along your design as well. You can also make these changes by adding control points in the top or bottom rocker tabs. Okay, cool. Now we have a rocker depth that, was in, that is within our target range. From here, we can move to the top tab and build in the beak nose and rolled tail from our example model. Let's begin with the beak nose. Just like in the outline and slices tabs, control points can be added anywhere along your design. To build our beak nose, we are simply going to select the add control point button find three inches from the nose using our sliding x-axis tool and add that control point where we would like our beak nose to begin. Now that our point has been added, let's go ahead and start to alter the shape of our nose into a beak style. 
We're going to do this by moving our anchored control point up to create a flat surface in the nose. Now that we have the base shape of our beak done, we're going to zoom in so we can make some fine adjustments to this design element. We're going to move our yellow and red control points to create the flat surface of the beak. Note the bottom rocker line remains the same as we make changes to our top deck line. This is because we are working only in the top tab at the moment. Okay, now that our beak nose is finished, we'd like to point out that the end rocker and T rocker tools can also be used to move the entire rocker line up or down even after a new design element has been introduced. This will not change the shape of the new design element. Okay, now we have a nice looking beak nose and our rocker dimensions are at our desired depth. Let's move on to building the rolled, rolled deck coming off the end of the board in the tail. For this design change, we are going to immediately zoom in so we can work closely with the control points in the tail. To start, let's pull our top deck control point forward to begin giving shape to our tail. From here, we'll use the add point function again and drop our control point where we would like the new transition to begin. We're going to raise our control point up and use our yellow and red controls to alter the shape of the curve we have created. Okay, now that our new tail design is in place, let's zoom fit out and use our spot check to examine our entire rocker profile. You can also use the 3D shaping bay to get a secondary view of your rocker profile. To do this, pan over to the side view of your design. We want to remove any lumps or irregularities in our rocker to prevent extra hand shaping in the final process. In this case, we have some extra thickness in the nose that we are going to reduce back to our desired dimensions by pulling down the yellow control point on the deck. Alright, now we have successfully designed a rocker profile with some extra design elements included. To recap, in this video, we covered increasing and decreasing rocker dimensions using the control points in the TNN rocker tools. We looked at adding control points to introduce new design elements to our rocker profile like beak noses and rolled tails. And we also looked at some of the common ways to examine the rocker to ensure it has a smooth continuous curve from nose to tail. Thank you for watching and please join us in our ne next introductory tutorial where we will be checking out our design in the 3D shaping bay and looking at some of the additional tools in OccuShaper to help finish your design.